welcome to another video as you can see i am out in nature this is like one of my favorite places to be because it brings me so much peace i'm able to really focus on what i'm thinking about and you know just really cleanse my energy it's always good to be around trees and around nature um but i really wanted to talk about something i literally just posted a video about this earlier today when i woke up and what it is is always making sure to never allow the energy you're giving out to other people exceed the energy that you're giving to yourself a lot of times we can feel like you know we can be so deep into a relationship that we we lose that passion and we lose that uh, dedication to ourselves we start to put that energy outward and although it's good to have people around and to give people love, you should never allow it to exceed the love that you're giving to yourself because you're gonna be left feeling depleted if ever they try to leave. And um, so I feel like it's super important to always remember before you're giving out love to other people and before you're trying to fill other people's cups, your cup is full. To be honest and to be completely transparent, I realized I was giving out to other people more energy than I was putting in to myself. That didn't do anything but make me feel low. I felt empty, you know? And it's like, dang, when this person leaves, I have no energy to keep going, you know? And that's never a good feeling. When you feel like you're unwhole, because someone decided to leave. Nothing's permanent, everything's temporary. So always appreciate the relationships you have when you have them, but never allow it to be so deep that you lose yourself in that relationship. Because again, like I said, if you guys decide to part ways, I gotta take a break. It's very hot and I already did a workout, you guys. I worked out for 40 minutes before I came here and I walked. I don't know what's wrong with me. But regardless, when anyone decides to leave, you're not gonna be feeling like yourself. You're gonna be feeling like you gave someone your all and they took it with them when they left. You know, never give someone that power over you. You should always feel whole no matter who exits and enters into your life. And that's an important lesson that I'm learning and it's causing me to be a lot more disciplined with myself um, when it comes to giving myself the love that I choose to have and feel. A goal of mine is to always feel whole and happy and so in love with being alone that no matter if I'm alone or if I'm with people, I'm still full and I'm still feeling very happy. Because no matter what, your peace and your happiness and your stability should be over everyone else's. You can't fill someone else's cup if your cup is empty. And you can't continue giving yourself to someone or to people and they're not returning it. Life happens, things are very unexpected. So you should always make sure that you have you first. And I think that's a lesson. I really just felt inclined to talk about that today because you don't ever want to get yourself in a deep hole of depression because you know you have a falling out with someone you always want to make sure that you're strong and you're sturdy within yourself. And it's like, oh, I'm still happy though. I'm still whole. That's it. That's so important. I never ever want to feel empty because someone walked away or because I fell out with someone. I want to encourage you guys to keep pushing forward, to take it one day at a time and to really start to replace things that you do for yourself that are not so good with positive things. So instead of binge watching TV, try meditating. Instead of eating comfort foods all the time, try to get some fruit in. I feel like the most nutritious and the most delicious and replenishing fruit out there is watermelon. Like literally, watermelon makes me feel so alive. It clears my skin. It makes me feel bright. I feel energized. I feel whole. So always do things like that. Work out, because working out is always going to get out energy that you have stored in you that you don't want. And um, make sure you drink, always make sure that you're drinking a lot of water. 
make sure that you are fueling yourself and that you're not depleting yourself with activities that you do just to keep yourself busy you know i know it's a mouthful but i really just wanted to say that because i feel like someone needed to hear that today so just make sure no matter what you love yourself first self-love is always the best love you know people ask me what self-love is it's really taking time to get to know yourself watching tv by yourself to an extent it is self-love you know because you're doing it by yourself but try doing something that allows you to be mindful instead of watching tv maybe read a book instead of listening to low frequency music listen to high vibrational music 432 hertz you know instead of eating foods like i just said make sure you're working out make sure you're fueling yourself with water with watermelon fruits smoothies acai bowls you know uh, taking walks this nature walk is honestly the best thing that i've ever done in my life because i feel so supported i feel so loved i feel so whole i feel so peaceful whenever i finish these walks it's like literally nothing can get to me like it wouldn't matter if i'm in a car and people are honking their horns at me and you know cutting me off honestly i've never been the road rage type of person anyways and if you guys were wondering this is palo santo i um was lighting this as i was walking and cleansing my energy um, that's something I love to do and I actually like this way better than sage because I feel like it smells better I feel like it makes me feel better um, I don't know it's just it's just a thing for me I really like it so if you guys um, are interested and would like to try it make sure you go to like a, they have them at spiritual stores I don't that's where I get them from so like you can uh go on your maps and search in metaphysical stores or spiritual stores or crystal shops and you'll be able to find these this is this was for a dollar oh guys i gotta tell you something and it literally made my life okay so i've been talking about my favorite animals and stuff like that because i'm really getting back into spiritual symbolisms and synchronicities and stuff like that um, spiritual messages and I feel like when you see certain animals they're bringing certain energies and messages into your life and I've been talking about my favorite bird and my favorite bird is a hummingbird and although I love that bird because I love how it just glides and it's just literally like it's moving its wings so fast it can stand still basically you know and I think it's so pretty and the colors are beautiful and it's just an amazing looking bird right so I told myself I was going to wake up early today and go to the gym before I went on a walk. I woke up kind of late, but as soon as I woke up, I hopped up, brushed my teeth, put my clothes on and went straight to the gym. And I forced myself through that. I was tired and I just forced myself through that. And while I was there, I saw a hummingbird through the window. When I tell you I was so happy and I was so shocked because it was a baby too. So it didn't have its color yet and I was looking at it and I was like that is a big bug but it was so small it's like if you get what I'm saying in my eyes it was too small to be a bird but it was too big to be a bug so I'm like what is that and it was standing still and then I saw it's long you know and then I saw the wings flapping and I literally just was in stillness for like five minutes and I was like that that had to be a sign you know that I'm persevering and that I'm, I'm doing things that are good for my health and good for my overall mental stability and mental health. Because when I tell you guys, I've been going through a lot of really, really deep healing moments and moments where I feel like I can't move forward and like life is literally just taking a toll on me and it's too heavy and it's a lot going on. and. I'm not where I choose to be and stuff like that, just to be transparent with you guys. Um, and I was really dark, you know, my mom had to pray for me. It was, it was really deep and I've been going and I've been taking it like one day at a time. I've been focusing on the things that make me happy. So instead of like binge watching a bunch of TV, I'm making sure that I get in, I'm replacing all the, all the defense mechanisms that I have and all the, um, what do you call that instead of keeping my mind busy 
I'm fueling my my spirit and you know my body and I'm cleansing and I'm healing and I'm talking to God a lot I'm praying I'm eating healthy I'm working out I'm journaling I'm reading I'm doing sound healing and you know I'm doing a lot of things that's benefiting my overall health and um I had to pull myself out of that hole because you know I feel like it's all a decision you can choose to be angry or you can choose to be happy and persevere through the things that you're going through. Because one thing that I've had to realize is that once you hit rock bottom, you have nowhere to go but up. What goes up must come down and vice versa at the end of the day. No situation is gonna be permanent, so make sure that you do what you need to do for yourself and for your own mental health so that you can be healthy and so that you can be at peace. Just persevere through the different things that you have going on in your life so i wanted to say that to you guys my daughter's calling me so i'm gonna end this video but if you like this video if you like more little talk videos like this make sure you let me know in the comment section below i love you guys so so much i appreciate you for everything um for your support for your patience with me life is such a journey and um I'm literally figuring everything out as I go because I'm in a new phase in my life where I am learning how to be me and learning what I like, learning what's important to me, learning, you know, what makes me happy. So yeah, you guys, I love you so much. Make sure you leave comments, make sure you subscribe and let me know how you like this video. Leave a big fat thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in my next video.